Miss Universe South Africa, Natasha <laughs> Jabe. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. What? Natasha, you are you're probably so sick of hearing this. My yay is built, built <laughs> square. <laughs> wow. Did you just wake up with that face? Wow. No, actually, no, like it took an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to look at your mom and dad and just be like, mums, pups, thank you for this face, eh? Do you look like mom or do you look like dad? I would say it's a mix. Um, so I've got green eyes, which is from my mom. Uh, I feel like I have my father's little thumb cheeks and the nose. And smile, I would say my father. My mother claims it though. She's like, you look like me. <laughs> mm. and, and green eyes, they say, are the most beautiful of all eyes and the rarest. They Hello. are. I think not that I've read up, like, but it's like two percent of the population have green eyes, and I was like, "Wow, will you look at that?" Do your eyes change? Like sometimes they're a bit blue, sometimes they're a bit grey. No blue. I would say it's a mix. Like in the middle of my eye, the center, there's like a little bit of um, brown. So it, it kind of I wouldn't say it's hazel, but like yeah, a little bit of brown with green it never really went to blue before so no blue in there that would have been cool so it's like an apple that's been lying on the ground for a couple of weeks <laughs> <laughs> would that work in presley's nightclub in pretoria <laughs> if i did rock up to you and go hey <laughs> your eyes are so beautiful look like an apple that's been lying on the ground for two weeks I I don't think it will work anywhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do men ever approach you or are you just too gorgeous <laughs> nah, and unattainable? No, nah, she's intimidating. <laughs> well, I'm in a, in a committed relationship, so I don't think I really open myself up to it. It happens on DMs. You are a business owner, which is amazing. And you are Miss Universe South Africa, which is your most recent title. Is your family treating you differently at the dinner table now? No, they would never. I, I have to be honest, I've got an older brother and sister. And I think they will always just see me as the younger sister. So they always tease me a lot and they always give me my grief. But I feel like, you know, that's part of having siblings. And with my mom, it's something we've dreamed to get together for for so long. So to actually be here, she's really just assisting and helping, but not treating me any differently, just really supportive and helping me along the way. So now you 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 say you've got an older sister and yeah. uh, and an older brother. So now who yeah. who clearly you got the looks. I haven't seen your <laughs> older sister, but what did she get? Did she also? So I'll, I'll be honest, they are even more gorgeous. Like oh, yeah. they yeah they're really stunning. Um, but they've got the more left brain because they are both attorneys and I'm more on the creative side. I do designing. So we differ so much, but yet we have so much in common. Um, but they are, they're beautiful. I'm not being biased in any way. <laughs> hey, some families, they just breed very well. Hey, like the McGregor's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thanks. But now, now, Natasha, so now you are, you, you are second, what they call now runner-up mm -hmm. Miss South yes. Africa, right? Yes. So what do you actually do um, as a second runner-up of Miss South Africa, apart from just sitting around and waiting for the other two to die? <gasps> Darren! <laughs> you go to Miss Universe, that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him! <laughs> I'll be honest, let's be honest, like, yeah. never did I expect to be selected as Miss Universe South Africa. I mean, the last four years, we've set the bar so high, um, mm -hmm. it's big shoes to fill. So uh, after being second runner-up, you know, it wasn't the outcome I was hoping for, but, you know, I'm going to Miss Universe and that was my dream. So I'm going up first, it's the 16th of May, so I'm leaving soon. There's so much that's happening going on and... Um, it's a full-time job. Like you don't just sit around and make things happen. You really have to go out there, work extremely hard for it, especially having to achieve that back-to-back. -back. You know, it's it's going to be really cool. So, you know, second runner up, it's great and all, but going to Miss Universe is, you know, the ultimate. 
I, so Natasha, what does that preparation look like? We spoke mm -hmm. to Werner Vessels a few weeks ago. Yes, he said yes. he's already started with your transformation, yes. loving the darker hair, Thank very, you. very sophisticated. It took a while but, to get used to it. So what else are you doing to prepare and ready yourself for Miss Universe? Are you meditating? Are you? How are you making sure that not only your body is strong, but that your mind is fit as well? You know, you manifest a lot. Um, I do life coaching and it's something that really changed my life so much because I always was that person that would normally say, you know, back to back, it's so impossible. And, you know, starting with life coaching, I really did like mentally got to a place where I'm like, if you can close your eyes and you can see it, you can taste it, you can smell it, you can hear it, it's possible. During my South Africa is one of the most challenging times in my life emotionally. I cried more than I've ever did before for some other reason. Um, you know, it really just changes you as a person. So going to Miss Universe, you learn from that mistakes and you work on that. Uh, you have to be very strong-minded. Uh, phys physical beauty and uh, your body won't make you win. Um, so it's a lot of stuff. It's Q&A training. It's life coaching. It's um, physically training. It's getting that confidence to a level where you are so content with yourself that you know what you have to offer when you go there. I know there are a lot of uh, fan pages out there that are putting you in the top three. Some are putting you <laughs> as the winner and they tag you as well, obviously. So you see that kind of thing. Is it, it nice? It, it, <laughs> a lot, but you know what? It, it, no one takes that in consideration because the competition haven't even started yet. Mm. what what's so important is that preliminary your final interview your performance on prelims that is solely how you get to the top not anyone's opinion actually matters so no hot picks matter and you know people undermine Zulzi so much like she mm. wasn't the go-to number one hot pick and she won now Natasha talking about Zozabini Tunzi she of course won with that incredible answer of her. Yes. Like you said, yes. any pageant girl can look good in a bikini, but it's those tough questions that mm. separate, you know, the girls yes. from the women, I almost want to say. So are you very nervous for that part of the competition? The questions and the answers? Is there any way to prepare for that? Going into South Africa, I didn't have a coach or like I didn't know how to train for it so I was like okay I can answer these questions but you don't know if it's good enough or, or right and uh, after Miss South Africa I've done so many interviews you almost get to know yourself on a different level so going there if you know yourself and you know how you feel about certain matters it's almost easier to answer and it's really just trusting in your abilities and your instincts which took me a long time to go and say you know the first thing that pops in your head is the right question it's the authentic answer and it's true to you and that's what's most important and that's why i think Zulzi did it so well so here's a question put you on your toes how would you get to world peace i would honestly say it's through your actions everything that you do you know um, words don't speak as loud as actions so through everything i do in my life hopefully that will be example to um, inspire people to live the same way so world peace, it's, it's, it takes a village. So you need to start with yourself. So that would be my answer. But Very I, think good. <laughs> I, I think, I think you nailed it. it. What excites yeah. me the most about you is the fact that you are a small business owner. I mean, at 23, owning your own, you know, fashion company and running that and that being the platform that you are going to advocate going forward around entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Was that mm. something that you had in mind when you were going through the Miss South Africa process? I went into Miss South Africa also figuring out a lot of stuff and never really knowing that people would be so interested in what I do on a daily basis. Mm. And yes, it would have been something that I would advocate for, but more at a different perspective. So just to give you some background, um, growing up, we didn't have the finances. I couldn't go to varsity. My mom couldn't afford it. My father passed away when I was 16. So she was a single mom. And I actually started doing pageants for different type of purpose. And actually won bursaries through doing pageants. And that was the way I could study. So I, I started my company first year out of school. So I always saw myself as this little entrepreneur. 
um, you know, having a, a business mindset being like, okay, where can I find a way to pay my studies, buy my first car? And I think that was my message is that your circumstances do not define you. Um, your choices is what is what defines you. At the end, my South Africa just really assisted to bring that in perspective saying it's empowering through entrepreneurship. That's what's mm -hmm. important to me because that was what empowered my life. And that got me a degree. I also love how you're using your passion for fashion to help other people. Please tell me about your campaign, Destiny Design, that's happening on the 10th of April. I'm super, super excited, guys. Never in a million years that I think we would do um, a project that involves designers. You know how amazing. So for me, it was really taking small business owners, but especially designers that struggled during COVID because we all know that being a designer isn't necessarily a necessity like clients wouldn't go it's not like buying bread or milk mm -hmm. so they really did suffocate during this time so I took this platform and said you know what yes it's the designers but it still is entrepreneurs small business owners and we are getting so many people involved to really put back into their business through exposure through giving them we are actually doing a whole course with a, a, a a firm which is going to assist them on how to run their company what should you register when you start um, so it's really just investing back in their company and really also showcasing their designs we're going to put that designs on auction and hopefully all the funds that we raise we are going to put back in their company so oh. i wanted to do something that's very personal and not only see okay cool we we know we've got many issues around the world right we all know it mm -hmm. but it had to be something that was speaking directly to me and something that I have experience of, which is designing, um, knowing what it's like to struggle during COVID with my business. Um, you know, it's something that we really wanted to help them with. Mm. So not only are you helping 10 local designers to design mm -hmm. some incredible don, uh, garments, they will be modeled in by former Miss South Africa's. That's Correct. How cool so is it's actually, that? You calling on your former sisters? <laughs> Come on, pull through. They are. They are going to be there. So it's actually we selected 12 designers with my brand. It's 13 because we had over 90 entries. So it made it so, so hard to actually select. So we are having the last year's top 10 have, uh, modeling. And then hopefully three former Miss South Africa's is also going to be there. And we really want to make it fun. You know, we've got serious issues around the world but we shouldn't forget about the people who's also suffering um the designers also suffer with their businesses so it's going to be a fun day and it's actually combined with my farewell for miss universe so i'm going to show the whole country my national costume which mm. i'm stoked about had you on is making it yeah yeah it's gonna be, yes yes and it's going to be combined with my project so it's going to be like a like a YDE sort of could be, you know. <laughs> Even that YDE on steroids. <laughs> yeah. nah. Now listen, Natasha. There, there, guys that are listening to you and the guys that are are watching you on Zoom, going, "Yo, she's beautiful. She's smart. She's got a business. She's, she's got a good heart, helping this, people. This is like mm. the perfect. This is the perfect package, mm. all right? Um, <laughs> sure. What do I? What do I have to do to you know? Uh, catch the eye of the perfect package. Um, what, what, do you, what do you look for in the ideal guy? And I'll, and I'll preface this by saying, before you answer, <laughs> that three out of four women in 2021 like the dad bod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if Natasha is freezing or is she just not liking the dad bod? Oh, Sorry, crazy. guys, it's lagging. Oh. Like it, it just lagged. Okay, so I heard the. Okay, so I didn't hear the part of three out of. And three then from of, there. Three out of four women in 2021 prefer the dad bod to the chiseled muscle physique on a man. Wow. What is your what? Yeah, what is your ideal man? My ideal man is my man. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. A, that's a there's not answer. another one of them. So. It doesn't matter, unfortunately, but a good heart, being authentic, be, being confident and always respectful. That's so important. You aren't better than a woman. We are equal. Um, that's how I live my relationship. I'm just as 
strong and just as powerful as in Riku, even if it's not physically. <laughs> now, in so Riku, somebody... sounds like I, I know you you live in Pretoria, Centurion. Now, in Riku, sounds like he's uh, in the the blow bullet under twenty three side. Oh no, he actually is in IT. Okay. Shout out to the IT the guys. The <laughs> <laughs> love that i actually wanted to ask you this natasha because should you win miss universe you would have to move to the united states right yes that's correct so you would then be in a long distance relationship have you, you know, fact, spoken about that potentially happening yes yes so mm. um it would only be for six months because as we all know the new miss universe after miss universe 2020 will be crowned in december so it's only going to be for six months, um, which is not as long. And, you know, we've been together for six years. So I'm sure, oh, wow. you know, we can get through it. Sure. That's your high school sweetheart. Enrico. Oh. Yo, Enrico. <laughs> we started Yo, dating. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, yeah. look, um, good luck with everything. We'll be right behind you, Natasha. You, and... And there's going to be another South African vying for that title there at Miss Universe. <laughs> You've heard about Miss Great Britain, Jeanette. Yes, I think I did. She's a, she's a South African as well, mm. which yeah. is so cool. Because I was like, you know, and I want someone there that I can speak Afrikaans to. I feel like she understands Afrikaans. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it's not going, so. Do you know what we would love to see when you meet her? Can the two of you please send South Africa a selfie? <laughs> yes, yes. Definitely. That's yeah. the first That's thing what we want like. to see. Yeah. No, send That's us a selfie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. We, I'll do that. Mm. But remember, she is your competition, eh? We want you to be friendly <laughs> for the selfie. Masai is the <laughs> competition. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's so funny because it is a competition at the end of the end of the day. But what's so true is, you know, my coach, Varner, always says, if they are looking for an Indian um an uh, Indian girl staying in America, they are going to look for that. Um, so mm. it's going to be, if it's going to be you, it's going to be you. You know, no one looks like Zulzi and is Zulzi. And mm. that's how you kind of go into it. If they want me, it will be me. Mm. <laughs> and nobody else is Natasha Uber. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Well, good luck. I think you're going to win it. Woo! Thank you so much. I think you're going to win it. <laughs> back to back <laughs> uh, as south africans we've got a bit of a strut we're very overconfident mm, at the moment mm, and it feels mm, really really mm. good <laughs> thank you guys are you can wake up at 2 a.m hopefully you will be up and ready to watch <laughs> of course <laughs> no we will be don't you worry good luck natasha uh, uh, when do you fly out? out um when you know, do we say aren't goodbye certain, we aren't certain as yet but like i said my farewell is on the 10th of april so we are still looking at, you know, we are banned from America. So we are still finding a way to get me there. You know, it's, mm. <laughs> there's so much Good luck with on. that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having Miss, me. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Miss Universe South Africa, Natasha Javert. 6 to 9 a.m. KFM Mornings with Darren, Sherlin and Sibs.